Hi, so it was another very corny uh, video introduction which I assume you've come to expect from me these days. Now, as you can see, I've uh, created a camera gimbal to go in Spot's head. Now, this is experimental. At this stage, it's using full size servos, but ideally down the track, I'd like to um, switch over to using uh, 9 gram servos, which would be much more compact. But this is basically just proof of concept to, to show that this uh, this gimbal sort of setup will work. It's using an, an ESP32 camera, which uh, yeah. as you can see, it still needs a bit of a bit of work. But that's the ESP32 camera at the front, <coughs> which is quite good because all it needs is once it's programmed. All it needs is power and then it puts its output direct to the network so the the initial video was filmed uh, was captured from a web browser which was displaying the the video over the network uh, as you can see I'm using this uh, joystick thing I created for um, the manipulator arm ages ago turned out to be useful for something else so the mechanism basically just works uh, side to side and up up and down. It's a bit flaky at this stage, as you can see. I'm not sure why, whether I've got loose connections or something going on. It sort of does the job, but it's a bit flaky. Uh, but as you can see from the previous video, it does give quite a, a reasonable sort of spot's eye view of the world. And I've got no idea why that's creeping now. Let's check all the connections. I think on the video there was a bit of noise it was picking up from the um, printer, which you can hear going in the background. Anyhow, but that's that's the basic mechanism. Uh, it works from um, these nice little gull wing inspection hatches. are sort of a happy accident. I just cut one of the top bits apart and peeled them back, but. Um, so as you can see there's a servo there which connects to that um, arm there to pivot backwards and forwards then mounted onto the front of this servo is a, another little gimbal mechanism for the up and down uh, as I said the stage is very experimental you can see I need I had to cut into the side of the uh, the next section there to get it to fit um, the, the servo at the back there just clips into the existing uh, front spacer panel and the front servo is suspended on a couple of pylons there with some there's little bearings in under there which means just moves quite freely and the camera just clips in at the front there so that's uh, a bit of progress as I say this is just e experimental proof of concept I may put these parts up on, on Thingiverse. Um, some people may be interested in having a go at sort of developing them further and refining them because they are pretty rough at this stage. Um, the joystick holder is already on Thingiverse under my, my parts if anyone wants to make a little joystick holder. Um, but that's where it's at. So um, I'm printing new body parts so hopefully I'll have the the body finalized. I've decided to switch from using the wood grain PLA to just using brown PLA because I found the wood grain wasn't strong enough. To get it stronger you need to print it hotter but when you print it hotter the wood particles in the PLA actually char and end up clogging your nozzle so it's a bit of a catch-22. So I'm switching pretty well exclusively to PETG for most of the body parts except for the top brown covers which are going to be brown PLA um, and as you can see I've got the, the tail sort of sorted out There's, it still doesn't quite fit here but uh, um, when I reprint this bit I'll, I'll have a look at getting that sorted out I'm also intending actually to uh, revise the leg cover so they actually do cover this part of the leg because I really don't see why there's any need to have the servo and the wires hanging out like that so I'm going to revise those covers so they actually cover the whole of the top of the leg. Um, 
other than that, all these parts are, I'm trying as far as possible to make everything compatible with the chassis part I've already produced and so far I've been able to do that. Um, the one exception was the top and bottom covers which I discovered were uh, too short so they've been lengthened. Um, there's the, the top and bottom, that one's in white but it should be in brown simply because I don't have the brown at the stage. Top and bottom covers there are being produced. They then um, clip on. This literally just clips on it. There's, it's um, held on by just a couple of pins inside there, which um, clip it on to make things simple. So uh, it's moving ahead. Um, it's like a hydra. It's got like seven heads, and I keep working on one head, and then another head pops up and needs some work. So. I was on the software for a while, then I was on the hardware, now I'm back onto the bodywork and now I'm onto um, future development, so uh, we're, I'm getting there bit by bit, but uh, I'm quite pleased with how it's turning out. As usual, any comments or questions, welcome. Thanks, see ya.